Good evening, friends. I am Pratikshit, and this is the Muknayak. And today we are joined by R S Praveen, Dr. R S Praveen, who is the State President of Telangana B S P, and he has been an I P S officer, and uh, before resigning from the prestigious Indian Police Services, he was also uh, running a coaching for the marginalized sections of the. society and now he has joined bsp he has also organized a yatra in telangana in the state of telangana sir could you please tell us something about the yatra what it is and what is the what is the time duration and uh, and things which areas is it covering see uh, prem thank you very much uh, uh, mug nayak uh, team uh, for inviting me to this uh, uh zoom call uh yatra is all about uh, taking the message of uh, uh mahapurush uh, who are behind this uh, bahujan movement starting from lord gautam buddha to bhenji kumari mayavati uh to the people of uh, telangana and uh, also make them aware of uh, the constitution of the party and the great work uh, done by uh bhanji uh, during her chief ministership in uh, uttar pradesh and also the need for such a rule a similar rule in uh, telangana uh, which can benefit uh, you know uh, lakhs of people in this uh, state so that is the idea with which uh, we are uh, going ahead with yatra so far we have covered about uh, 1200 villages in the last 147 days so tomorrow we are resuming it again and uh, we have gone to uh, we have we have gone to so far we covered uh, 1800 18000 uh, kilometers in the state of telangana and we have got his uh, you know historic uh, response from the people of telangana and i'm very happy to share uh, this with you thank you sir so it has been seen that now uh, telangana uh, or its success its predecessor state the andhra pradesh which was a uh, i mean telangana's predecessor state and uh, the bsp has not been able to make inroads in that state despite despite the atrocities being committed there yeah, we remember that uh, in early 90s there was the horrific massacre see sunduru in the state which is which is now uh, in uh, andhra and things like that in even in telangana state we have of late we have seen uh, uh, cases of atrocities in telangana the bsp uh, has not been able to make inroads despite those cases what is the reason and there is a perceptible dalit assertion uh, we can see but uh, the bsp has not been able to mind the rich seam of that uh, uh, assertion and that anger and why has it been hijacked by the communists <laughs> see there are so many reasons uh, for this question so so many uh, you know reasons behind this uh, one of the important uh, reasons is uh, as you rightly pointed out uh, the the militancy of uh, not just dalits but all the poor people uh, in these two states have been the has been hijacked by the you know communists and the reformers who traditionally belong to the upper caste so as a result uh, over a period of time all these uh, militancy either uh, has been silenced by brutal oppression or uh, they have been uh, cajoled and uh, co-opted by co-opted. the ruling yeah. classes uh, either into a congress party or uh, in a local telugu desham party and in telangana it is telangana rashtra samiti so uh this is one of the important reasons uh, in up this was not the case in up you never had a very strong uh, communist movement e, and neither uh, extremist insurgency like uh, you know telangana and andhra pradesh so you had only in sonbhadra division you had that insurgency Other, otherwise uh, uh, in up you never had this kind of problem and uh, manyavar shri kanshiram ji he came to you know telangana and andhra pradesh way back in 1989 and there was tremendous response historic response 
so so much so that uh, you know uh, the then um, you know governments uh, the then the ruling parties had to come to their knees uh, to seek the support of uh, bahujan samaj party not that bahujan samaj party has not been able to make inroads we have uh, the, the bahujan samaj party has been able to produce one mla from andhra pradesh and uh, two mlas from telangana uh, you know as recently as 2014 but uh, uh, there was no uh, continuous uh, leadership in bahujan samaj party so there were so many historic reasons like you know uh, the division divisive movements and then then there were uh, sub movements within the subaltern sections like you know uh, schedule cost categorization movement and then uh, bc uh, movements and uh, you know caste identity movements all these movements these movements have restricted themselves to accomplish the needs of their communities only but they didn't uh, recognize their political power as wished by manushri kanshiram ji uh, so there was a gap there was a gap a very long gap uh, in making these people understand their uh, political aspirations and then understand the a need for power understand the real you know uh, the real need for power so that's one of the reasons why you know we are bsp uh, unfortunately has not been able to make a great uh, you know uh, impact as it was done in the up so but uh, i am very sure that's the reason why we are launching this yatra and we are continuing this yatra to, to show what bhanji kumari mayavati had done during her tenure as chief minister and what uh, manushri kanshiram ji has uh, wished uh, from all the bahujans in this country not just in telugu states so that that's one of the reasons why we are undertaking yatra and then that response for this yatra has been historic and tremendous and you know rome has not been built in a day you know it takes time so it takes time but uh, we must not uh, uh, you know relent in our efforts we must always continue our efforts so just because uh, you know manushri kanshiram ji is not there uh, in our midst uh, we should not stop uh, you know following his path uh, we should continue we should make sac- we should make sacrifices and uh, we should uh, you know inspire people uh, with these words and deeds yeah sir uh, the, the bsp is a national party but uh, yes. the people all over the country the workers all over the country Draw, in, uh, draw inspiration from one state, which is the Uttar Pradesh state, yes. uh, which uh, which has seen BSP in power for four times. And yes. Maya Vati Ji, Behan Kumari Maya Vati Ji, has been the chief minister of the state for four times in that state. And therefore, yes. people uh, see see that as an inspiration. Have seen that as an inspiration. But sir, yes. uh, in two thousand twenty two, this year. what happened was that bsp's performance was very dismal uh, it it was not only was it a, i mean a very b- bad performance it was a very disappointing per- performance so sir has it uh, affected the morale of the cadre in other states i cannot Tel- comment Andhra, on other states but as far as Pradesh telangana and, and uh, telangana uh, telugu andhra pradesh are the, concerned you, you it has see- not at all affected our morale because we understand the sacrifices made by benji kumari mayavati and sacrifices made by uh, manushri kanshiram ji and uh, we understand uh, the politics in their entirety wherein in politics you always have highs and lows peaks and valleys sun uh, light is always sunrise is always followed by sunset so and then sunset is always followed by sunrise again so we should not uh, get disappointed and frustrated and feel low uh when uh, you know mm-hmm. chips are down and uh, we should not really greatly elated uh, uh, and uh, when we are up so we should maintain the balance and we should continue our journey and bahujan samaj party is not just a political party it's a social transformation mission so it continues as long as there is uh, social uh, uh, injustice and uh, inequality in this country and oppression on the a uh, weaker sections in this country bahujan samaj party will continue its uh, movement so elections are only part of uh, our uh, larger mission i think so it has not at all affected uh, our uh, uh, morale and we are working uh, harder than ever uh, to make the dreams of uh, manavar shri kanshiram ji uh, you know true so uh, 
can you throw some insight into the dalit movement in telangana and or its predecessor state andhra pradesh particularly uh, the uh, the factionalism which has been tried to be driven in uh, the division which has been attempted in the movement like uh, malla madiga and things like that can you throw some insight into the dalit movement of your state see uh dalit uh, movements uh, in these states have been uh, really transformational i'm not saying that uh, they are all divisive and then they are all retrogressive they have uh, they have fought against the atrocities committed by the ruling classes on these people they have called they have fought against the massacres they have fought against the injustice uh, meted to the employees of these marginalized communities they have uh, fought for the land they have fought for the you know the jobs they have fought against the dilution of scst prevention of atrocities case they have fought against the you know the oppression the murders rapes committed by uh, the ruling classes on these people so they have been quite successful and unfortunately the militancy as i have told in the beginning that it has been uh, it has been uh, hijacked by uh, communist movements as a result the most of the militancy uh, went into communist movement and then communists have you know they have disappointed the not just dalits but they have disappointed all the marginalized people all the suffering masses and they have joined the uh, willingly hands with uh, you know uh, ruling classes uh, in the as recently as monugodu by election they have uh, joined hands with the ruling class so and uh, the ruling classes have been successful in engineering the dissent engineering the divisions among the dalit movements so they have divided subdivided the dalit movements and as a result uh, the dalits uh, subcast and castes started uh, uh, you know fighting against each other and so much so that uh, you know uh, some for some time they didn't see even eye to eye so but after some time they got relented and then now uh, things are coming better and then people are joining hands and then the 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 amount of animosity between uh, different subcastes is coming down and then they have realized that what they have lost they have realized what they have lost in the last 30 years of uh, fighting against each other so uh, i think a good days are ahead for uh, not just for dalits but all backward classes and dalits and then bahujan samaj party has been launching a historic uh, has been continuing a historic struggle uh, against uh, the injustice meted to other backward classes so wherein uh, you know they are 52% in our state and then their reservation percentage is only 27 so we are demanding more reservation for backward classes we are demanding more reservation for scheduled castes and uh, scheduled tribes and religious minorities and then bahujan samaj party is in the forefront of that struggle i'm very happy to share with that uh, share, share that with you sorry okay. so uh, how do you see the recent uh, uh, outreach the efforts of outreaching the dalits by the state government particularly the 125 feet statue of baba saheb bhimrao ambedkar and the ads streaming on tel- tvs televisions about the efforts made by the state government for the welfare of dalits what do see this is only i wash this is uh, the, the the ruling party is trying to win the votes by just erecting the statues uh, i think no no uh, people have not demanded uh, the government of telangana to erect statues uh, but uh, people in fact have demanded uh, to give scholarship to the children to have to set up as many schools as possible for the poorest of the poor students and also you know people have been demanding for more scholarship for foreign education people have been demanding for uh, loans uh, for the people who want to you know stand on their own legs but government instead of uh, doing all these things government is just erecting a statue with the cost of uh, 150 crores i would say with 150 crores i can set up about 10 schools 15 schools uh, which can create uh, you know thousands of ambedkars thousands of jyotirao phule thousands of uh, kanshi rams so but that uh, thousands of benches you know so that the ruling classes do not want they want uh, only to erect the statues and uh, they want to ignore all the basic things that dalit needs dalit need housing dalit the colonies need roads dalit colonies need uh, you know free education quality education dalit colonies uh, dalit and bcs all these things so they all these people they need uh, 
you know, better facilities for healthcare. So government doesn't want to do all these things. Government wants only to erect Ambedkar statue and tell all Dalits, not just in Telangana, entire country, look, we stand by Dalits. That is not what Baba Sahib wanted. That is not what Manevar uh, Kanshiram ji wanted. What uh, we want is uh, we want is a real uh, education, and uh, we want uh, the good quality healthcare, and we want uh, housing, and uh, we want uh, foreign education, and we want uh, loans for our uh, you know uh, the people uh, who are you know who want to stand on their own legs. So we don't. You know, but this this statue is not going to change the lives of Dalits in this state. Recently, uh, Radhika Vemula, the mother of the uh, mother of Rohit Vemula, the student who died by suicide, met Rahul Gandhi at the Bharat Yatra. And uh, I, I mean, how do you see see this? In in what light? In which light do you say this? I mean, the Congress has been the, the I mean. Uh, how how do you see this? Do you think you should have made uh, outreach? You should have contacted uh, Radhika Radhika ji. No, I think uh, I I know her. Uh, I spoke to her. I met Radhika Vemula ji. So in a uh, couple of occasions. So uh, when I was in Indian Police Service, after I joined uh, Bajan Samaj Party, I could not meet her because I am in Yatra as I'm today. So I have all uh, sympathies and respect for uh, Radhika Vemula ji and Rohit Vemula is uh, a fearless uh, warrior of uh, Bahujan masses and uh, his, his life must be celebrated all over the world, not just in India. And I have all respect for uh, the family and friends of uh, Rohit Vemula. And uh, I'm not sure about uh, the circumstances in which Radhika Vemula ji has uh, met uh, Rahul Gandhi ji. Uh, but uh, I can say for one thing that, you know, uh, the family deserves uh, justice and the Rohit Vemula, we should not have another Rohit Vemula in our campuses and uh, we should create as many intellectuals as possible as uh, like Rohit Vemula in the universities and in the schools and Bajan Samaj Party is committed uh, for that. How are you convincing the masses, conveying your message to the masses, uh, con the, conveying your message to the masses in the Yatra? In the Bahujan Adhikar Yatra, what uh, message are you conveying to the people in the villages? I am I am conveying that look, both Congress, BJP, and uh, you know the Telangana Rasamthi and Communists have taken us for a ride, and uh, they have used uh, not just Dalits but all the backward classes and the poor tribes as just vote banks. So they have been only you know uh, throwing us only biscuits uh, to vote for them, and then after we vote them to power. And then they have been amassing huge uh, properties for themselves and then living in a very comfortable bubble. And they have left us to fend for ourselves. So, and then this is the high time that we realize our uh, real political power, realize the value of the vote that has been given by Baba Sahib Ambedkar uh, and uh, vote for our own party, that is Bahujan Samaj Party, which is totally committed to protect Indian constitution and uh, through which we can, you know, uh, change the lives of uh, masses forever. So uh, people are getting convinced. Uh, so this is the first time Bahujan Samaj Party has gone that deeper into villages of uh, Telangana, heart of heart and soul of Telangana. I think in the, the future is very bright for Bahujan Samaj Party in uh, uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. And uh, you will hear good news in the days to come. Okay. So hoping to hear the good news from your end, sir. Uh, Thanks for talking to us and taking out your time for speaking to us. And we are hoping to hear the good news from your end. Till then, thank you, sir. Thank you. Jai Bhim. Thank you. Jai Bhim. Jai Bhim.